Hi, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, a consultant ENT surgeon at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur. Hearing loss in childhood, uh, it's not an absolute terminology. That means we are not talking about only those children who cannot absolutely hear. It's a spectrum. Hearing loss can be mild, moderate, severe, conductive, it can be sensory neural, it can be mixed. So there, is, there are various combinations possible. Now there are various reasons also why uh, hearing loss can happen in children. Let's uh, try to discuss this a little bit elaborately. There might be a child uh, whose external ear canals have not developed or they have a ear which looks very deformed and when the parents uh, try to look at the um, hole uh, of the ear, they don't see any hole. Uh, it's completely covered by skin. This condition is called as external auditory canal atresia. Now this will cause typically a conductive hearing loss. Now this child requires a different type of management as compared to somebody who cannot hear at all. That means the nerves are not functioning at all. Now child with external auditory canal atresia will need to be stimulated auditorily. Otherwise the speech will be hampered. Now ideally this child will require what is called as a bone anchored hearing aid or a BAHA, B-A-H-A. Now this is a surgical procedure and wherein uh, it would require us to uh, fix a screw at the back of the ear and then uh, implant tool called as BAHA so that the child can hear better and then eventually learns speaking like any other children. The other common condition which can lead to hearing loss. Uh, not absolute hearing loss, but it can cause uh, hearing loss is what is called as glue ear or otitis media with effusion. Now this is common because every child does get cold and secondary to cold fluid can accumulate in the ear. And uh, the natural course of the uh, disease or the natural course of this condition is for spontaneous resolution of the fluid. That means the fluid gets resolved into the body either by absorption or by drainage through the ventilation tube and then restoration of normalcy. But a few children, it doesn't happen and the fluid remains there, becomes thick and becomes glue-like. Now in an area which is supposed to be surrounded by air, if it is surrounded by thick glue-like liquid, the pressure of this liquid on the bones of the middle ear can eventually cause erosion of these bones or absorption of these bones leading to a breakage of the ossicular chain and hence cause hearing loss over and above the fluid itself causing a hearing loss. So the, typically we give a period of say between 8 to 12 weeks for spontaneous resolution of fluid and if this doesn't happen in 8 to 12 weeks we recommend a surgery called as Meringotomy and Gromet insertion. This surgery would require us to make a small hole in the eardrum and then suck out all the fluid or the glue which is there in the middle ear and then uh, insert an artificial ventilation tube so that air from the outer uh, environment can reach the middle ear and help the middle ear to recover from the infection as early as possible. This is the commonest um, surgery which we do for somebody uh, in childhood for restoration of hearing. The other uh, end of the spectrum would be a child whose inner ear is not functioning well or the child is not hearing anything at all despite uh, giving hearing aids. Uh, let us say a child has hearing loss and they have undergone the screening, they have uh, found out that the child has hearing uh, loss and then we give them hearing aids and the child is not benefiting at all. Uh, this generally happens when the child has hearing loss above 80 decibels on both sides and these children we would uh, then recommend to undergo another surgical procedure called as cochlear implants. So uh, it would require us to identify what is the cause for hearing loss and then it can be from as a simple a surgery as a insertion of a grommet tube to improve somebody's hearing to um, certain difficult or uh, very advanced surgeries like cochlear implantation and BAHA to restore a child's hearing so that the child can have a normal speech and develop like any other child.